is there not a wind blowing? Uh, no, uh, there is no wind. I tell you, there is a wind blowing. It's in the air. I, I hear the beating of vast wings. Do you not hear it? I hear nothing. Oh, I hear it no more. Oh, it has passed away. Oh, but I hear it again. Do you not hear it? I tell you, I hear nothing. You are ill. Let us I have it. I am not ill. It is your daughter who is sick to death. Never have I seen her so pale. You must not look at her. Bring me forth mine. Salome, come and drink wine with me. I have a wine here that is exquisite. Dip into it your little red lips so that I may drain the cup. I am not thirsty, Tetrarch. <laughs> you hear how she answers me, this daughter of yours? She does right. Why are you always gazing at her? Bring me ripe fruits. Salome, come and eat ripe fruits with me. Yes, yes. Oh, how I love to see a fruit. The mark of thy little teeth. Bite but a little of this fruit, then I may eat what is left. I am not hungry, Tetrarch. <laughs> you see how you brought her up, this daughter of yours. My daughter and I come from a royal race. As for thee, thy father was a camel driver. He was a thief and a robber to boot. Oh, thou liest! <laughs> Day that I spake of is at hand. 
the day of the Lord. I have heard upon the mountains the feet of he who will become the savior of the world. <laughs> what does that mean, the savior of the world? Of whom is he speaking? Messiah! Who hath come? Messiah hath not come. He hath come and everywhere he worketh miracles. <laughs> <laughs> miracles! I do not believe in miracles. I have seen too many. My fan. He healed two blind men at Capernaum. No, no, no. They were lepers. But he healed other blind men, and he was seen on a mountain talking with angels. He was seen on a mountain talking with angels. These two weary me. They are altogether ridiculous. Well, my fan. You have the looks of a dreamer. You must not dream. It is only sick people dream. There is also the miracle of the daughter of Jairu! No. Yes, absolutely, the daughter of Jairu! They have looked too long at the moon. You see what happens to dreamers, little one. What is the miracle of the daughter of Jairu? The daughter of Jairu was dead, and he raised her from the dead. How? He raises people from the dead. Yes, he raises them from the dead. Then he must raise my Naraboth from his deathly slumber! Oh, fan! <laughs> I do not wish him to do that. I allow no man to raise anyone from the dead. Besides, it is a sin to slay oneself, is it not? There are worse. The sinner that he is, he shall remain dead. Ah, the wanton one. The harlot. Daughter of Babylon with her golden eyes on her gilded eyelids. Thus saith the Lord God, let there come upon her a multitude of men. Let the people take stones and stone her. Command him to be silent. Return into the courtyard. Let the came. captains of the host pierce her with their swords. Let them crush her beneath their shield. <laughs> Naked, but it is infamous. <laughs> Thus I will wipe all the wickedness from the earth, and women shall learn not to imitate her in her abomination. He says against me. You let him revile me? What does it matter? I am your wife. You know it is I whom he seeks to revile. I am your wife, am I not? Of a true, dear and noble Herodias, you are my wife, and before that, the wife of my brother. He did snatch me from his arms. <laughs> ah, but it was you who did the dispatching of a truth. I was stronger than he, but let us not talk of that matter. It is the cause of the terrible words that the prophet has spoken. Let us not speak of this matter. Noble Herodias, we're not being mindful of our guests. Fill my cup, my beloved, and I will drink to you. Carrot! Carrot! Satellite's gone up to the skies. Looks like that drop.
see your daughter, how pale she is. What is it to you if she is pale or not? You must not look at her. That day the sun shall become black like sackcloth, and the moon shall become like blood. And the stars of the heavens shall fall upon the earth like unripe figs that fall from the fig tree. And the kings of the earth shall be afraid. I shall like to see the day when the moon shall become like blood, and the stars shall fall upon the earth like unripe figs. This prophet talks like a drunken man, but I cannot stand his voice. I hate his voice. Command him to be silent. Oh, I will not. <laughs> Besides, I cannot understand what he says, but it may be an omen. I do not believe in omens. He speaks like a drunken man. Hmm? He may be drunk with the wine of God. And what wine is that, the wine of God? From what vineyards is it gathered? In what wine press may one find it? You are again looking at my daughter. You must not look at her. I have already said so. Say nothing else. I say it again. Dance for me, Salome. I will not have her dance. <laughs> I have no desire to dance, Tetrarch. You see how she obeys you. <laughs> what does it matter whether she dances or not? It means nothing for me, for tonight I'm happy. I'm exceeding happy. Never have I been so happy. <laughs> <laughs> you? Well, what are you waiting for? 
I am waiting for my attendants to bring perfumes and the veils and take the sandals from my feet. Oh, oh yes, tis well, tis well. You're going to dance with naked feet. Oh, your little feet are going to look like white doves. Oh, oh but there is, there is blood on the ground. There is blood spilled on the ground. She must not dance on blood if we're an evil omen. What is it to you if she dances in blood or not? You've waited deep enough in it. Who is this who cometh from Edom? Who is this who cometh from Bozrah? Whose raven is dyed with purple, who shineth in the beauty of his garments? Who walketh mighty in his greatness? Wherefore is thy raven spake with I will not have my daughter dance while he is continually crying out. I will not have her dance while you look at her in this fashion. In a word, I will not have her dance. Until she has danced for me. Dance, Salome. Dance for me. I am ready to try. <sighs> Mother, my 
your daughter has danced for me. Oh, come near, Salome, come near, that I might give you your fee. Oh, I pay a royal price for those who dance for my pleasure. Oh, tell me, what is it that you desire? What would you have them bring you? Speak. I would like that they presently bring me on a silver charger. <laughs> Charger. Surely, yes, on a silver charger. She is charming, is she not? Oh, what would you have them bring you? Tell me, what would you have? Anything you desire will be yours. What would you have them bring you? Please tell me, tell me. The head of John the Baptist. Well said, my daughter. No, that is not what you desire. Do not. Do not listen to thy mother's voice. She is always giving you evil counsel. Do not listen to her speak. It is not my mother's voice that I heed. It is for my own pleasure that I ask for the head of John the Baptist on a silver charger. You have sworn an oath, Herod. Don't forget that you have sworn an oath. Yes, I know. I know I've sworn an oath by my gods. I know it well. But I pray thee, Salome, do not ask me for this. Ask me for something else. Ask me for half of my kingdom. But do not ask me for this. I ask of you the head of John the Baptist. No, no, I will not give it to you. You have sworn an oath, Herod. Yes, you have sworn an oath. Everybody who heard you, you swore it before everybody. Peace, woman, it is not to you that I speak. My daughter has done well to ask for the head of John the Baptist. He has covered me with insults. He has said unspeakable things. One can see she loves her mother well. Cannot you? He is sworn in both. Salve, I ask you not to be stubborn. Oh no, what you ask of me, it is a terrible thing. It is an awful thing that you ask of me. No, no, I mean, surely I think you are joking. The, the, the head of a man cut from his body is, is ill to look upon, isn't it? I mean, what pleasure could you have in it? No, no, it is not what you desire. Listen to me, Salome. I have an emerald, a great round emerald. And when you look through it, you can see into the future. Why, why? Caesar himself carries such an emerald, but mine is the larger. Mine is the largest in the whole world. You will take it, will you not? Ask me for it, and I will give it to you. I demand the head of John the Baptist. Oh. No, you will not have it. You say this only to trouble me, because I have looked at you and not stopped tonight. Yes, it is true. I have, I have looked at you and not stopped tonight, but I, I will look at you no more. <laughs> <laughs>